just like a normal menu. You can see file. From the file, you can bring in your your script if you already have it written from where. You can bring it from that place. Turn it to open. Then you navigate towards the the place. Like I have. You can click file. Okay, before that, let me just. You have app too. If you look at it, you have app. In that app, you can find some of the distribution. In Baisha, maybe uh, Benuli, the, how it is being done. You can see this. Benoni distribution, you this is how they write it, are distributed. If you look at it, this di distribution distribu the bed, that is distributed Benoni with only one parameter, P. P. So every other distribution is here as well. Then you if you if you if you need a um, mana from for some of the example that is mean that are already Develop here yeah. and go to the manual too and see some of the like some of the example maybe like a normal hierarchical model. You can see there is an example here that can that can guide us. Then you also this map the the mapping tool is also very important, especially when you are doing the data that involve maybe longitude and latitude. But I don't find this place comfortable to do it. Most of I most time I always do this in R. Maybe if I want to find my adjacency IGSNC matrix or those neighborhood stuff. So I prefer it in R. Then in France, the model, uh, this is where you where you run your model. You can get some, maybe some information here. Then tools. Maybe you want to create fold, collapse, all those. Then attribute to if you are writing. If you are writing your a new model and you want to increase the font, something like that, you can do it here. So, but if you already have a script that is written, I don't know, I'm just wondering which approach I should use, whether we should type the script here yeah, or use the one that is already typed. Let's type. Let's type. Okay. So. Yes. Maybe we should try to. We are trying to model logistic regression. Yes. Let me just write here. Logistic. <laughs> I first write the model part. You know, we say for for the model, we need to specify the what? The likelihood. Is it not? We specify the likelihood. And if this is the likelihood, we say model, we start with model. We start with the model. Then we say for I in one to head, that is total number of observation that we have. 
Please, as usual, check your computer um, speakers. Yeah. I'm muted. Not just your Google Meet, but your computer speakers. Everybody, please let's try to do that. We are still getting feedback here. Don't say you are muted. Just go to your computer. Um, it's not just the mix, the Google mix. Mix the speaker of your system. Somebody's system. Hello, we are still getting feedback here. Hello. Please, can we just do this together? Get your speaker and then mute it. If you don't do that, you are delaying us. Somebody is delaying us here. Go to your speaker and then go.
Venoni pi. Then we write the, the regression equation, logit of pi, just the way we saw in the morning. It's equal to the alpha plus the, okay. Now, the reason why I wrote this part, I don't want my thing to look so cumbersome, not having so many things on a line. That's right. I put it part one so that the thing will be compacted. That's why I put part one, part two, so that I don't even need to write so many long things on a particular line. That's why I put it part one. And if you look at the way I define my part one here, the beta one, that is the coefficient of uh, NDVI. Then the data on NDVI, I've standardized this. What I mean by, I think we all know this. Standardize is the, taking away the mean, dividing by the. Let's get it. No, I mean standardize. Okay, okay. When you standardize, you take yes, minus take away the mean, the then over the experience. experience. So I've done this so that I will have a well behaved model. Because sometimes, if it's, if it's not standardized, we're having some very. Well, very that's why I standardize the rain, the NDVI. Then, there, if you look at it, also to part two, there is a, that H fee two seven zero is social economic status. The social economic status of the household. This from MIS. This data is from a malaria information survey. So the social economic status. Uh, it was it was uh, divided into five something. Maybe the I think the poorest, poorer, the middle class, the rich, and the richest. That's the five classes you are seeing. There. If you look at it, the yeah, we have the wealthy, we have the wealthy, the wealthiest, the poor, poorer, and the middle class. So that is the five categories you are seeing there. If you look at that play, you won't see the category one because that's the reference point. The reference category is not there. If you look at it, I only started from two. The one, one is the lowest. Is the lowest category. If you look, okay. uh, the one is the lowest. So we are comparing one with two, one oh, with three, one with four, one with five. That was the way the other frequencies are put. If you just create a dummy, that would be. Sorry, sir. Which one are you saying is the socioeconomic variable? Uh, HV270. That's the socioeconomic. The okay. other HV270. one. HV270. Okay. That's the socioeconomic You know, if you, mean, if you miss a bracket here, it will flag error. So we have to copy it. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Just go to the, I think the attribute, attribute, <laughs> then go and increase the font. 20 points. Okay. We have malaria data, positive, negative. We have rainfall data, the rainfall amount in a particular place where the child is located. And the chat where this because this data were collected in clusters, particular place. Then we now got environmental data, rainfall for that particular cluster. And that is the rainfall you are saying, rain STD, rain standardized, that's the meaning of that STD. Then we also have NDVI. NDVI is the vegetation index. They call it, I think, normalized difference. 
vegetation index, normalized different vegetation index. You can get most of this data from the satellite platform. There's this platform, they call it MODIS. It's owned by the USGS. So you can get all this data from that site. Some people they run it through her, R to Jack, R to Wimbog. But this P3 has to be here. The B3 has to start from okay, sir. here. So I can have benefit to my flight error. The what? The B3 you know, must you know start change, from here. You know, change it. So, the phone. The phone. That's right. From that. I will see change it back. Attribute. Attribute. See this? Go try it work. Data that we that we got yes. from that country. Mm -hmm. you copy if you are done. Baba, wait.
And you have to check all your loop that they are closed. You know, most time I go to R, I will just copy this same information, paste it on a new R something, and see whether it's closed. Because if it's not closed, although it will flag error and tell you that it, the, the, the program will tell you it expects a certain thing in this place. It will point to that place. So, <coughs> so how do we run it? We will run it when they are. Uh, if we are all, are we all? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. for a way to do it in her. Maybe somebody will able to look for that solution. How to do, how to do it in her. What? This getting it to will be will be vector. In a state of the will be vector. But I was trying to look for something related to will be vector in her. I somebody couldn't, will help I couldn't get it. Mr. Sam. Eh? How to take this uh, data from uh, you know it, it will be in a column and row. This one, yes, but you want to get it as text file in this as format. Uh, can read your text, read your txt, read your txt. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. No, that is read your csv. Yes. Yes. If one is to save this thing, what's the, what's the extension? Extension, is it ODC? ODC, yes, sir. By itself or by extension? Sir? No, you should go Does by itself. Does it take uh, space as character or not, sir? Space. 
Places so, like um, uh, the gaps, gaps in between character. Does he recognize space as a character? Mm. No, don't put space on. I didn't get it. Maybe I should come around. Like, after the first model, there's a space between the model and the, and the bracket. The bracket.
If we are there, there, we also come to the data. Are we there? Yes, sir. Okay, so, sir, please, once, once you have an error in the, it will show us that there's an error somewhere. It, it will point to, if you look at it very well, it will go and point to where the error is. That's what I'm you know, that high is a counter now. If you look through all the data, one to five or that drop the data, so it will go into one. That's why we want to Now, the data you copy directly, it will not have end. So you have to specify that end. You know, copy the data. Oh, there's a data, okay. There's a data that we give through that link. We have to copy that data and... Uh, yeah, there's a data. If you tell us that the model is synthetically correct, yes. it's not yet wood. Wow. <laughs> Until you know the data, you compile. Because you can miss something somewhere, it may not detect it. So, let's try. Have you copied the data? Yes, sir. No, sir. Cop copy or not? No, you copy. You copy and just paste. Paste it on, on, on the. Yeah. It's, it's not like R that you read your data in. Oh. So, you have to copy and paste the data. But I think. If I if we don't I like meat on the model. And is supposed to find one. That is the to get that. And is supposed to find one. And is supposed to find one. And is Okay. I didn't see that one. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Sorry. Are you going to be the best in the world? Yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes
And they say delete it. So can we load the data now? You just, you just highlight a bit on the list, and you tell it to load data. You can see my own say data loaded. Okay. I like a little on the on the list from the beginning of the list because if you don't if you if you if you leave L and I light on high it will flag the error from the beginning of the list I like to the to the what to any place in the from the beginning of what from the beginning yeah look at it load you can already load it so it will write that angle Ah, this one says expected a number or any. Ah, I think we I think we it was when the chair went off now. They, they should connect again.
I've sent it to Uganda. I've sent it to Uganda. Only in Kokon, only. I go to Uganda. What's it going to be? What I sent today. I'm going to go to the workshop. If you want, it's not video. This is a book for the files and everything. Okay, so that's why I should tell them. Yes, that's the file. Okay. Yes, that's the file. 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 Yes, that's the file.
Go and change your system. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now, I
You will see set highlighted. If you type your alpha, you know the parameter you want to monitor now. Your alpha and the B, the beta. So once you type the it correctly, you will see set highlighted. Okay. So once it is highlighted, you click set. So now we want to also monitor B. But you know the way we, we loop our B, you just need to mention B. You don't need to type B, B, one, B. So, because we already look, it's inside you. So, you just let it set. So, after that, you just come to Shift, eight. That is start. Shift, you click Shift on your computer. Then, you pick eight. That is, you want to pick start. You want to end. Put end to your monitor. So, I click here. So, you see all that thing? I like it now. Yes, sir. Sir, my own was inside. Like, okay. okay, now let's start all over again. So I will clear I will clear all that we have done. Clear. Clear the search monitor. I've clear it. Now we come back, we type, we come inside here, type alpha. Okay. If you don't type it correctly, it won't bring up the cell. Alpha. Set. <laughs> Set it. Then the beta, the B. You just type B. Then set. 
So then you want to end that, you just pick shift so that you can pick your path. So all the other thing will be highlighted. Is this star or oh, asterisk? Shift. Shift eight. Well, because I, I may not know where your own country, where your <laughs> where your artery is located. Let's just shift wherever it's located. German system. And if you have German system, it's always different. That's true. That's true. Now we can also tell it to update. Now, I will come here, update two. If you have not closed in, we should close that down. If you have not, yes, we can close in. Where is update? We didn't do anything with this star. Well, we didn't do anything with this star. Once you put this star, it will, it will, it will, so many other things will, will, will be highlighted. So, you can close it. Okay. Then we will come to update again. How many, how many iterations you want to do? For the sake of time, let's just do 10,000. Because this model is fast. But if it is a very slow model, I won't say 1,000. So let's put 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> 10, <laughs> yes. Just add another zero. If you have add the zero, then you can tell it to update them. It's a very fast model. So, if it's a very heavy model, especially a special model, ten thousand is more. Yeah, two days. You just leave in the computer somewhere and go and do it. How many will you do? Ten thousand. Why? Why it is updating? You can check. Oh. We can come to him, friend. Go back to sample. Then you can see oh, what like the density. The density will show you the distribution. If you click on density. If you click density, it will come with this. Wow. Wow. Let's just copy that. You go back to your sample. And then you click on the sample. Density. Oh, I I Okay, the density is, is giving us that it is wrong. As you bring more iteration, the density will be getting finer. So if we have done this, I think we are we are we are, we are good to go today. Yes, sir. It was still on the floor. Even mine is updating too. 